How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 12 in my introduction to Python series. Um, before I get started, I'd like to remind you as usual to check out codingbasics.ca for written tutorials as well as anything I forget to mention in these tutorials, I'll upload to those web pages and there is a forum if you have any questions regarding any of these tutorials. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we are uh, going to make a number guessing game. Up until this point, I've just been doing tutorials on, you know, like loops, if statements, variables, stuff like that. We're actually going to make a program, a functional game that uh, kind of puts everything that we've been learning so far into perspective. So let's get started. Open up Notepad, and I've already created this file called numguess.py. So every time I start learning a new programming language, my first program I like to make, besides the Hello World program, is a number guessing game don't know why I've just always done that because it kind of incorporates everything if statements loops user input displaying text so that's what we're gonna do now like I mentioned in the last tutorial even if I'm not for like even when I start a program if I'm not for sure that I'm gonna be doing any division I still like to uh, import the future division um, just in case so from underscore underscore future import division um, you guys don't have to get into that practice if you want it's just something I've got accustomed to doing if you uh, know you're not going to be using um, division at all then just put it as the first line in any programs where you're using math sort of thing uh, the next package we're gonna import um, is the uh, random class so from random and we're actually going to import a method called the rand int method. So from random, import rand int. This is a function I haven't introduced yet that um, uh, gets a creates a random integer, which is going to be the random number that the user is going to be guessing. So now we've got those imported. Let's actually start programming. So a lot of our game is going to be taking place inside this while loop. It's going to keep looping through, and in here is going to incorporate a user's turn. So we're going to, to keep track if the game is still being played, we're going to create a boolean called playing. And we're going to define that up here. So we'll set playing equal to true. Next thing we want to do is we need a random number for the user to guess. So we will uh, create a variable called num and we'll set that equal to rand int and we'll set the, we'll make the random number be between 1 and 100 but it could also be 1 or 100 so it's in between these or equal to one of them one's the lowest possible number 100's the highest possible number it could be so now that we got our random number created Next thing we're going to be keeping track of is the number of guesses the user has um, used up. So guesses equals zero. We haven't made a guess yet. We've initialized everything we have to, and we are now going to actually start making our game. So when the game first launches, you want to welcome them to your game. So we're just going to print out a quick message. It says welcome to my number guessing game there you go and now every turn we're gonna give them sort of a instruction message which is gonna say um, I don't like the word pick uh, guess a number between 1 and 100 and then think back to the uh, user input tutorial we are gonna actually get their guess from them so we're gonna create a variable called guess we'll set that equal to raw underscore input and we'll ask them what is your guess all right now we are going to be doing uh, some 
error checking to make sure the number put in is between 1 and 100. If you remember the raw, uh, the user input tutorial, I said um, the raw input returns a string. So in order to get a number to check if it's between 1 and 100, we're going to have to typecast this to an integer, which we can do just by uh, surrounding uh, the raw input statement with brackets and putting int in front. Now that we have that taken care of, let's test it. We're going to periodically test our program as we do it, which is what you should be doing. You never want to try to program your entire program and assume it's going to work on your first run. Every time you Im implement some sort of functionality, test it to make sure that's done right, and it makes it easier to pinpoint where your errors are. So navigate to where you have your uh, Python file saved. I'm already in that folder, so I'm just going to type in Python num guess dot py and there we go we got our uh, welcome message as well as uh, guess a number between 1 and 100 and now what is your guess um, so we're going to guess a random number I'm going to put in 87 the number of the greatest Canadian hockey player of all time Sidney Crosby and you know just keep it's going to keep asking us for numbers because it's in a while loop that where playing is never set to false so it's going to keep asking us for a number so in order to get out of this program so we can uh, do more work we're just going to hit control C and that will uh, get out of the program alright now that we have the user's number the next thing we want to do is make sure that they've imported a valid number so this is going to be an if statement if guess is greater than 100 or guess is less than 1 well that violates our uh, the numbers that we want so if that happens we're going to create a boolean called invalid set that equal to true and then the next thing we're going to do is a while loop so while invalid we're going to keep um, asking the user for a new number until they put a valid one in. So while invalid, we're going to print out a message. And using all capitals to really emphasize it, we're going to say invalid number guessed. And a ton of exclamation points just to really emphasize it. And then we'll ask them once again to guess a number between 1 and 100. There we go. And then the final thing is getting a new guess from them. Now, when I did my last tutorial on loops, I said that uh, any variable that's defined inside a while loop, the local variable, won't be able to access it outside that loop. Well, we already have guess defined out here. So it is um, just going to be redefined and still be able to access it inside this while loop here. So we are completely fine there. And it's going to ask him for a new guess. And then we want to make sure, well, this guess is valid. So if guess is greater than or equal to 1, um, and then we're just going to do a multiple condition here just to save a little bit of coding. There. So if guess is less than or equal to 100 or greater than or equal to 1, then we'll set invalid to false. There we go. And that's all we have to do for this. So now let's test that out. Let's rerun the program. We are going to guess a valid number first, so 87 once again. Completely fine. Well, what if we guess 999? Invalid number guessed. Guess a number between 1 and 100. Now, if we type in which is a really big number. It's going to ask us for a number guess, another guess again. And um, now let's type in a valid number just to get out of this loop. And there we go. It accepted that as a valid number. So that is how we're going to check to make sure a valid number is entered. Now that we know a valid number has been entered, we are going to check and see if 
um, the number is equal to the random number chosen if it's greater than or less than and display the appropriate message so if guess equals equals num well the game's over so we'll say if guess equals equals num then uh, print out congrats you guessed the number well then we're going to do an else if so if the number is not equal now we're going to check to see if else if if the guess is higher than the random number then we'll print out a message uh, your guess was too high try again and now that we know that the number is not equal to or um, it's not greater than well we're going to use an else because the only thing left is it being less than so if the guess is less than we're going to print in a message your guess was too low try again all right now let's save this file and test out this uh, control c to exit out of the program relaunch it what is your guess for you to Let's just cut it in the middle and say 50. Your guess was too high. Try again. Yeah. And just keep guessing until you get the right number, which I'm not going to try to do right now. All right. Now, we have this. It's going to keep going, keep asking for a number. But what if the guess was right? The game would have kept looping. So in that case, if you get the right number, then we're going to set playing equal to false and that would end the game so now I'm actually gonna try to get the right number what is your guess uh, I'll try to do this quickly uh, oops mm -hmm. come on 28 32 34, 35, there you go. So he gets the number. Once the number is guessed, the game ends. Now what we have to implement is the number of guesses. So keep track of how many guesses it took the user to get to that point. So every time a number is guessed, then what we're going to do is um, once it gets to this point where we know a valid number has been entered, we're just going to add to guesses. So guesses plus equals one. Only other thing we want to do is we want to penalize the uh, user every time they guess an invalid number. It's not our fault that they uh, guess the number too high or too low than our range. So what we are going to do is every time a new number has been guessed here, we're going to add to guesses. So guesses plus equals one. Only problem is, it's going to, if an invalid number is entered, once they guess a valid one, one will be added to guesses, but then it will get added once again. So in that case, if the number is valid, we are just going to take one away from guesses just to even it out. So guesses minus equals one. That should take care of everything. And then once the user has guessed the right number, we'll say congrats, you guessed the number and it only took you. And then we're gonna take the string of guesses and add that to our string. There we go. So now let's run this game once again. It's going to clear the terminal just to make it look better. All right. So start cutting the middle 50. Your guess was too low, 75. 
Too low. 87. Too low. 90. 90. <laughs> okay, 92. We guess it was too high, so we know it's 91. There. Congrats. You guessed the number, and it only took you six guesses. So exactly what we wanted to happen. All right, so that's all we're going to do in this tutorial. That's a basic number guessing game. Only thing we're going to do in the next video is kind of add to this, add a couple more features to make it look better, as well as uh, add in like a new game feature so the user doesn't automatically get kicked out to the command line. They can keep playing as many times as they want to. But that's all I want to talk about in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. Check out codingbasics.ca, and I will see you in the next tutorial.